And we are going to be checking out Tiebreak for the PlayStation 5. This is a new tennis game that has come out from Big Ant Studios. And I'm actually really excited to try when I had seen like a deep dive of what this game was all about. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of tennis games. I've, you know, I grew up loving tennis games. I do like watching tennis too. Although, admittedly, don't watch as much as I, you know, used to watch. Um, I think the last new tennis game I bought was like six years ago or something. It was that Tennis World Tour game on the Xbox One that we played a career mode in on the channel way back. And yeah, this is the latest new one that I picked up. Uh, I skipped Top Spin because I saw this one coming out. And I thought this looked better, so we'll check it out. Looks like it's got a lot of licensing in it. There is a career mode as well that we might do. So let's uh, let's take a look at tiebreak tennis. I guess we'll just do play now, and then you know I'll just get into it to get a feel for the controls. Skip a tutorial and just play. Doesn't matter which side. All right, let's take a look at the roster too, guys. Um, I will start here with. Nadal, over on the right side, you see the character models looking pretty good there. Nadal, Federer, some of these guys, I have no idea. Kata, Kavanagh, Alex Michelson, Kofor, John Isner's in here. <laughs> that guy's like six foot ten. Rico Correa, Francisco Serandolo, Noborez, Tario Daniel. Purcell, Bukic, Michael Malt. Damn, these character models look really good. Sanga. Nishioka. Kyrgios. Kevin Anderson. Kastri Eubanks. Nishikori. JJ Wolf. There's a ton of people. I've never seen a tennis game with a uh, roster quite as big as this one. Juan Del Porto, Kubler, Matthew Ebden. And then back to, oh, now we go back to the top. Oh, this is by rating. Okay, I should have started all the way up here. So Djokovic, the top rated guy. Karaz. I mean, this is the ATB players, so the men's, obviously. Zverev, Dimitrov, Taylor Fritz. Kasparud, Sipias, however you pronounce his name, Rune, Ben Shelton, Tommy Paul, Gatini, Tiafo. So I know some of the American ones. Times and Andy Murray. This is an insane amount of... Varinka. Dahl Federer up there in age, but still good, of course. That's an, inc that's an insane roster. And now to the women's. Who's the top-ranked woman? We have Sabalenka, of course, yeah. Coco Goff. So awesome. Also Madison Keys. Chang, Neil Collins, Azarenka, Gula, Emma Navarro, I mean to me the models look better than they do in uh, 2k tennis, that was something that kind of threw me off of that game, I was looking at the gameplay, I don't know, the uh, character models looked off in that one. Again, I don't even know a chunk of these tennis players, but some of the others. Caroline Wozniacki. Sloane Stevens. Osaka. Radukanu. Bianca Andrescu. 
Storm Hunter. That's a great name. <laughs> so we'll show you guys Angelique Kerber. Maria Sharapova's in there. Oh. Classics, wow. That's an awesome roster. And you, you can also create players as well in this, so. There you go. All right, who should we be? Let's be, I'll start with the men's match. I think I'm gonna be Tiafo. And we'll go up against, I don't wanna go up against somebody too good yet, cause we're just getting started. Oh, they got different clothes too, I didn't realize that. It's Max Purcell. Okay, we have location Wimbledon. So there's like licensed stuff. You got Paris, France, New York. Don't know why there's no picture there. So it's big US Open. Versailles, France, Rome, Italy. There's 23. This is like gonna be like the Pez of tennis, I feel like. Indian Wells, Madrid, Spain. That's like Roland Garros. Miami, Monte Carlo. That one looks good. Halle, Germany. Toronto, Beijing, Dubai, Wuhan, Turin, Shanghai, Cincinnati, Montreal. There's some awesome looking places. Doha. That's cool. Riyadh. Melbourne and Gata Tennis. We have a little training one too. Wow, let's go. I want to play outdoors, so we'll go. Let's go to Indian Wells. So we can do day, afternoon, dusk, or night. <laughs> let's do let's do dusk. Difficulty easy. Standard. We'll do one set just to get a warm up in. We'll do tie break because it's tie break. We'll do that one. Okay. So he's like their stats and stuff. Thank you. Oh, the character models look awesome. See how it plays though. I mean, there's a whole bunch of customization options and stuff. It's great. It's chosen heads. Chosen to serve, okay. I have no idea. Hang on. Can I look at the controls? Okay. Serving. Underarm serve. Safe serve. The ball tosses X. Okay. Uh, general play. Oh gosh. Uh, reactions. Flat slice lob. And then you could do like a dip dive. You can do different shots of the R1. I just want to know like normal shots right now. Combo lists. Oh my gosh. Heavy slices, dip drive, loop ball. So holding the R1 or the R2 can help you. And then serving, toss, and then. Flat. So lob is triangle. Drop shot. Okay, well, let's practice a bit here. Let's get, yeah, let's see how it feels. Purcell to serve. Oh, dang! It hit me right. I don't know why I didn't go after that. Due to like, I don't know how like the mechanics are gonna work with. Oh gosh. You gotta be right on top of the ball here, it looks like. Like, it's not like virtual tennis where the guy kinda like automatically goes towards the ball if you hit hit. There's gonna be a lot of timing in this one. Oh. This is gonna be tricky. Can already tell this is gonna be a tricky one to get the hang of. Maybe I should have done a tutorial indeed.
reactive. I got a trophy for what? I'm missing. Oh, what do I do here? Hang on, how do I hit the ball? What the heck? Hang on. How do I serve? I this really needs it to do it. This is not like So ball toss aim movement. Maybe I use the, the stick to swing. Oh you do? Okay. Oh, this is going to be very tricky, but it's more realistic. Okay. Dude, I can't get the hang of this. What the heck? Do I have to pull back first? Okay, I'm going to have to do the tutorial, I think, guys. This is like not like a normal tennis game where you can just hit a button and do something. You have to like actually... What the heck? I can't get him to swing. Okay. We're, we're leaving this. Okay. <laughs> Should not... Do not jump into a match in this game. Oh my gosh. You gotta you gotta go to the tutorial. tutorial. My goodness. I have no idea. I, I didn't think it was gonna be this in-depth with the controls. Like, I can't get that to work. Alright, so... Move the player... Simple enough here, right? Okay, so prep run. Press and hold L2 to ready your backhand stance, then use L to run left. So L2. Press and ready your forehand. Okay. Huh? Hang on. It won't like let me. I see, so you need to like. Hold L2, activate scramble, and move into direction. Scramble. We're scrambling. Okay. All right, I feel like once you get like once you learn everything, it's probably gonna be so much better. Like I, I should not have gone into a match. I thought it'd be more simple, but there's definitely a lot of intricacies to these controls now. You can tell. All right, eye on the ball. Press a circle to hit a top spin shot, flat shot, slice, and lob shot. Okay. Maybe I should use a circle more. So you can like ready a shot. So if I like ready the forehand here. Ready like a slice backhand. There we go. Okay. Threw in a lob shot there. I right, use L to move towards the yellow marker. Press X, circle, or square to perform a ground stroke to return the ball. Okay. Did I do it? I don't think I did it. not doing it I 
Well, that was a good shot there. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. Apparently I've done one out of six. That's another one. Apparently that was one. Okay, I think I'd hit it like cross court. Like that, yeah. So that's what I have to do. Just pretty much wait. Hit it. Okay. That's not good. Not as good on the backhand. Okay. Got that one. Preparation hit hold and press and hold L2 to prep for a shot while on the left. Press R2 to prep a shot for on the right. Move the L in the preparation direction to move faster. Okay. Okay, I see. What are we gonna do here? Hold over for me six ground strokes. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm returning them. I think I'm getting the aim right. You have to do it like that, okay. It's kind of really tough to get the hang of, actually. There's one. There's another one. I think, no? There we go. Whoops. You kind of like anticipate which way the ball is going to go. There we go. So you're going to have to be using the triggers a lot during a match to like prep. That's what I wasn't doing because I didn't know that. Um, hold R2, L2 to activate scramble. Move in a scramble direction. Okay. That didn't work. That did. There we go. All right. Show me how to serve though. Uh, press and hold circle to charge his top spin shot. Release to perform the shot. Power meter will glow when a full power shot has been charged. Okay. Oh, he nailed that one. Come on. So you can't like just hit the ball, you have to like be facing the right way. Boom, okay. So I guess we'll be back in. There we go. Starting to get the hang of it. Control continue holding a shot button beyond the power meter. Start to shake, which indicates overpowering a shot. Okay. So they want me to screw up. That I can do. Like that, so that's gonna be it. Do I have to actually hit it into those little circles? I mean, into those areas? Are you kidding me? How am I gonna get it into that? I 
That's an overpowered shot, but I actually have to get it into that small little square? How? That's so hard. Like to do with an overpowered shot, because your aiming's off with this. See, it like goes well beyond it. There's no way I'm gonna do this one. Take me all day to do this. That's so freaking hard to hit into that little part. There we go. I can get like normal shots in there, but the overpowered ones, again, they are like harder to aim. They go more wayward. Okay. Let me get the backhand in there. That was a perfect shot, but it wasn't overpowered. I like hold it in as soon as they shoot that thing. I think they're making you aim these. Wow, this is difficult. This is not going to be an easy game to get the hang of, guys. But I think once I get the flow of the controls more, like in a match, it's going to be really... I can tell there's like some realisticness to this. In a way that you can probably really mix up shots too. That one didn't count. I can't do this. This is the hardest thing. Come on. Oh my gosh, it has to be so. Could they have made the square a little bit bigger for us, at least for this? These are some like pro shots here. Oh, it's like just to be so precise. How are we ever gonna do this? I could do it with normal shots, but I, with the overpowered one, it's just it's too hard to control. Anytime I try to aim down, it just goes on the net. I don't know how to perfect this. I have no idea. Oh, that didn't count either. Oh my gosh. Let's stand further back. Let's stand further back here. So hard to control the backhand. There we go. That didn't that didn't count. Oh my god. That didn't count either. Unbelievable. Can't tell you guys how hard this is. Like the amount of precision you need with this. I think I'm ready to just skip this. I can't. I like. I can't hit these shots.
gonna slice it now. See if that'll maybe a lob shot. See, there goes too far. See, it's like slice shot. That feels good though to hit those. That's cool. Ugh, that didn't count either. All right, can we skip this one? I don't think we can skip this until we... Like, I want to know how to serve. I don't want to do this. Like, I can't do this. This game's got a big learning curve. Unfortunately. It's not a pick-up-and-play game, guys. So we'll see if we can get the hang of this. Like the fact that they're making you do this is insane. These are like ridiculous shots to be able to hit <sighs> on the overpower. Like to get it in that small little spot there is so hard. So that I did on normal shot. Normal shots, it's fine, but. With the overpower, it's, it's good luck. You're either hitting it too far, or it's just going way off because the aim is so much harder. Get in there. if you have time to even charge your shot before the ball gets to you. Oh my, this is insane. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that, that's a normal shot. See, I can get it to drop when it's a normal shot, but a power shot, forget it. Like, to control these is so intricate. I cannot get the hang of this. Like, I'm just overhitting everything. And if I aim down just a little bit, it hits the net. And of course, if I aim up anymore, it goes even further, so I don't know how to get the aim right either. See, it just overhits everything. And if I move the aim down, it's like, oh, it hits the net. Jeez. I don't, I don't know. I don't get the hang of this. See, that was like so perfect and it still didn't even count. Ugh. No. This is too hard. This is way too hard. There's no way I'm going to do that. I don't know why they expect you to do that in a tutorial. I thought it was just like, if you could just like return... Serve. Look at all this other stuff. Look at all the tutorial. I can't even practice serving till I beat overpower. Are you kidding me? Okay, they need to they need to make everything in the tutorial unlockable, no matter what. That way you can practice what you want to practice. They should make you go through everything before you unlock everything. Because then what's the point of the tutorial? Like, if you can't beat something in the tutorial, then you're not going to be able to practice everything else. Like, that's way too hard to do. Alright, so that's not a good thing already about this game. 
tutorial is kind of like for pros apparently all right uh, but I just I just want to know how to serve really I just like I can gonna I understand how to hit the ball now I just I want to learn how to serve but they won't let me serve I'll continue my match and see if I can figure out how to serve. Goodness me. Oh my gosh. Swing the swing the racket, dude. Controls in this game are so crazy. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating, guys. I should have practiced this off camera first, but I had no idea it was going to be this hard to just do simple things. Like, it tells you to swing the right stick to, to serve, right? So that's what I was doing. I can't learn how to serve till I beat this stupid thing. We're gonna struggle in the career mode if this is what it's like. Why they would make it this hard, I have no idea. I get what they're trying to do with the controls, but they made them a little too intricate to be like functional. If somebody just picking up the game trying to play can't even do something as simple serve the ball and they make you do like this crazy thing here to beat the tutorial to learn anything oh my gosh no can't hit these shots it's insane I don't know how to do that. Look at that, that one's in there, but it's not overpowered. You barely have any time to even get off an overpowered shot before the meter, before the ball gets to you. So you're scrambling and then aiming in like a split second. Gosh damn. This is really hard. A little bit disappointed in this so far, honestly. Until I get like the hang of the controls, I think. I don't I can't do this, like it just doesn't work like every shot is either too short or too long like I can't get it in between I'm barely touching the joystick here but it, there's like advanced training too this one might be a little bit too intricate to just pick up and play for sure um, I don't know let me let me just try Uh, let me see if I can get this serve down. This is really frustrating, guys. I'm sorry. Can't figure it out. It's it, it's really hard to figure out the controls in this game. Like they did not make this user friendly. Like, is there a way to like do more like basic controls? Like, I wasn't expecting virtue attendance, but this is this is ridiculous. Serving. It says underarm serve, straight safe serve, ball toss, aim movement. And then movement, right? So do I hit... What I'm doing is I'm tossing the ball and then I'm hitting one of those buttons to serve it, right? Safe serve, underarm serve. You can also do your movement or your aim. That's what I'm trying to do. Do I have to like hold the button in? Why 
Why can't I? Why, why won't he swing? I don't get why he won't swing. <laughs> well, we're playing tiebreak, guys. What can I say? I don't. Why is he not swinging? I don't understand. I don't understand. This is driving me crazy. Why won't he swing at the serve? It says, safe serve is circle, right? That's what I'm hitting. I'm tossing the ball up, and when it's at its highest point, I'm hitting the button, and he isn't doing anything. I'm aiming as well. And then R is your movement, which I thought was for your racket, but apparently that doesn't do anything either. So then what do you do? Like, what? I don't... This is so dumb. Okay, I'm hitting buttons, but it's not doing anything. He's not reacting. He's just tossing the ball. And now it works. What? What was that? Okay, now I'm able to serve? This is, this is strange. All right, I think you have to... There we go. So you have to hold it in. That's something, okay. So for you guys that might pick this up to try it, you have to hold it in. You can't just do ball toss and time a hit. You have to hold it in, whatever button, whatever type of serve you do, whether it's safe serve, underarm serve, or just a normal ball toss. And you can change your serve type with the R2 and L2 buttons. So you have to, now we're scoring points here. So you have to like, so I'm going to do like a normal serve, you hold it in, and then when it hits green, when that, then you hit it again to hit it. Alright, so you want to like ready your backhand and stuff. There we go. Alright, so at least I have the serving down. What's up, Timothy? This is really hard to get the hang of, guys. This is a rough game to jump into. But once we get the hang of it, I think it's going to be really fun. I just think that they could have made this a little bit more user-friendly. Oh, this is a really tough game. There we go. It's like, what the heck? Did I score there? Okay, good. Strange. See, if you aren't on your backhand, you can't hit it. You have to like know ahead of time. Man, this is hard. I can't even explain this, guys. He's moving slow because it's on easy, so. That's the only reason why I'm scoring right now. Wow, he's doing. Well, the computer's doing awful. Don't think they know how to play the game either. <laughs> this is wild. At least I have the hang of serving now. Oof. Slice that one. That's a slice shot. This is gonna take a ton of practice. A ton of practice. This isn't tennis world tour. I could pick up and play that one for the most part. Virtua tennis, probably even top spin. This is a totally different beast, guys. And I completely overhit that one. This is way more intricate. And trying to be more realistic 
than any of the other tennis games I've played. Which isn't a bad thing, but again, this is going to take a ton of practice to get the, to get used to this. Like it almost makes me wish there was like a simple simplified version of the controls too for people that maybe can't get the hang of this. That's out. All right. Getting like decent serves now. Oh, that was a really good shot, that slice right there. He's like automatically. Oof, that was a hell of a serve as well. Set me up well, okay. Now all of a sudden I'm good at serving. I couldn't even get him to hit the ball before. Now I'm like hitting these crazy serves. Bolt. But you have to hold it in. That was a good serve as well. Oh, good return. Okay. There we go. Getting some cooking. Slow pace to this one, guys, I know. I mean, I wish I could have gone through the rest of the tutorial, but... Man, those are just crazy hard tasks to do. Oh man, no chance on that one. But there's a lot of buttons to press. It's not just like a one button thing. Like you have to hold the triggers a lot. You have to know how much you're going to hold it in for. And, and scramble mode. Oh, nice job. Okay. Starting to get a little bit, a little bit more into it. Let's go. Because I think, I do think like once we somehow get used to these controls, it's going to take a while. I think it's going to be a good game. Definitely seems like there's a lot of depth to it. But like if I were to like have somebody, like a friend or somebody play this and be like, oh, let's play a tennis game together. Like this is not the one. Because it would be, you can't just say, oh yeah, hit this button to hit the ball or whatever. Like, it's not like that. It's more like you have to really know how it functions. Like, I still can't even really. Like, I can't be the only one that's struggling in the beginning trying to try in this game. Otherwise, I'd feel like a real idiot. More than I already do. What the hell was that? This hit the ball out of the stadium or something. What the heck? Review. <laughs> I think that was in. I saw some chalk. Chalk in the parking lot. Okay, well, I don't know. Also feels like some of the shots are kind of slow, like in terms of like the animation. Like the way the ball travels, it kind of like floats in the air a little bit longer than I expect it to, but maybe that's because I'm doing slice shots sometimes. Maybe the speed of play is slower when you're on easy? I'm not sure. 
I'm not gonna win this though. Yeah, like if you're not holding that in, and that won't even appear. There we go. It's a let. What do y'all? Oh yeah, I streamed that over the summer, uh, Timothy. Virtua Tennis. Stream that one. That's a great game. See, that's a complete contrast to this game. That game's like an easy pick up and play, fun tennis game. A little bit of realism to it as well. This is so different in every way with the controls. Like this is probably going to take me several hours just to get used to how this game handles. And even then I'm going to be struggling still, but... At least we're scoring points, we're serving now. We're actually trying to have a match. <laughs> I can't even finish the tutorial because it's too hard. There's a good slice. Nice, okay. Thank you. <laughs> but like I said, I think once this steep, steep learning curve is over, it's going to be a really good game. There we go. Alright, I'm, I'm starting to boss him now. I'm going to ready as many shots as you can. Oh, see? Virtual Tennis, four players. I never, I don't think I ever played that four players. I think only two players. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it's on the VMU, VMU thing. You would just play on that. That's hilarious. Play like the whole game on there. Oh, that's a good shot there. We'll take the lead now. Our serve now. Another decent serve. At least we're keeping it in bounds. There we go. Good backhand. The virtual tennis still holds up so well. When we played it in the summertime. It was just. It was like a month ago or something when we played that. Maybe a month and a half. Great time with it. It's still one of my favorite tennis games to this day, I think. I remember playing one of them on the 362 that was good. I think it was like 2008 or 2009 Virtual Tennis. I played a lot of that one too. When I was younger. Is that a... That's a, that's a fault, huh? I want an ace so bad. Oh, double fault. That would have been a heck of a serve too if we kept that in. There's no way he's getting to that. Oh, good serve again. Puts him away. All right, we're starting to like, starting to get a feel for this. I know it's on easy, but. So there's a much different pace than like a lot of other tennis games I've played. That's your favorite one? Favorite, favorite tennis game is Virtua Tennis. I mean, Dreamcast had some of the best uh, sports games ever. Oh, that's a let. Give me that one. Your S24 Ultra? Wait, what is that? Your Galaxy phone. Oh, no. See, I don't even know phones, so we got a new phone. 
They have like movie, basically like movie uh, quality cameras on these phones now. It's crazy. I have a basic, very basic track phone. Mine does the job. Which isn't much. Alright, let's not let him come back here. See, I started moving to the right, and then by then it's too late to get to the left. So I'm still struggling when he serves, but when I serve, I seem to be doing really well. I'm getting him with my backhand every time. He has 11 aces? It's because I can't get to half his serves. That's like most of his points are coming off of aces. There we go. That's a heck of a serve again. He's not getting to that. Oh, he is. We'll get to this one. Oh, man. Stay in. Oh, he didn't even hit over the net. All right, M match point. Shoot. Yeah, now you got both in one. <laughs> now you don't need that. Let's do a safe serve here. We don't want him to force deuce. <laughs> He's like, finally zero. You figured out how to play the game a little bit. All right. Pay no attention to all those aces he had. Look at all the winners I had, though. Okay. So my early impressions with this game are it is very difficult to pick up and play, as we've seen. Uh, I think the tutorial needs to just be open. Like, don't lock any of the stuff in the tutorial behind anything. Just let the user click on whatever they need to practice. Because some of that stuff's really hard to do. Because it's like, I feel like those overpowered shots are like pro stuff. Like to be able to hit those into those little spots is really difficult, guys. So I think they should just open up the tutorial. At least I would do that if I were them. For like an update. Just like, don't, don't leave it locked. Just open it all up. Let the player go in and be like, all right, I want to practice how to do like a drop volley. So they can just practice that. Maybe they don't know how to do that. Rather than having to run through every single little thing here like for me I wanted to learn how to serve I couldn't make it to the serving because this thing's too hard so I had to like learn how to serve on my own so yeah it's a very intricate controls I'd say like the character models are great there's a lot of options here so I think this is gonna be a good game I just don't think it's it's gonna be more of a slow burn to get into it um, player creator, you can do venue creator. You can like, I think these are like Djokovic challenges. Yeah, Djokovic slam challenges. It's kind of interesting. Let's see what the um, venue creator is like. Alright, whoa. It's like it's trying to go like for ultra realistic and it's which I appreciate but it's gonna be really hard to like to get the hang of this game but we're starting to you know we won that so we just we started playing pretty well so we can zoom in so what do we do with these stands edit object stand type oh wow so if we want like a smaller Your variation. Do like that, and then like a roof. 
No roof on that. Now how do you pick stadium colors? Hang on, toolkit. Wow. City, location, court type. I want to do grass. You could even put it in a event too. Snap thing. Snap to grid. I'm going to put one in. This is my first time. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this game just came out. I just put it in today, like an hour ago. It's very, very hard to play. <laughs> Name. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to call this place The Rock. Not Dwayne Johnson, but after Plymouth Rock. <laughs> the Rock at Plymouth. Okay. Save that. Let's start. I just want to see like what we can do with this. So. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what's going on? What was that? Show courts. Oh, you can make more than one court? Hang on. Let me back that a bit. So it looks like you can make you can make multiple courts. That's what all this area is for. So you can make you can make a venue that has like multiple courts, like a main court, a smaller court. That's insane. I've never seen a tennis game with this much going on. Oh, you can even like move where the sponsor is. What the heck? Barrier sponsor. Net sponsor. So you can like create your own logos too, I think. If you want that there. Umpire chair sponsor. Game clock sponsor. I'll stick with these things, I don't know. Definitely looks like it's not an arcade game. No, not not in the slightest. This is one of the most like one of the least pick up and play sports games I've ever played. But it seems to have a bit of realism to it, so they're trying to you know, it's gonna be hard to learn for sure. Even this is gonna be hard to learn. So here's a fence. So you can put like a fence around it. You can make like a little, I kind of just want to make like a, a small little, I can't put this here. I can't put it here, but I can put it right here in the middle of the stands. Makes a whole lot of sense. I'm trying to figure out this thing. So I'm going to do like edit objects. I want like a really small little court, like almost like it's in a park or something, you know? That's what I want. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do this. Wait, hang on. Okay, I do that. 
I'm gonna select this one. Okay, and then this one. Nothing there. And then a small one there. And then this. A few right there. So there we got a nice, nice little court here. Not many seats. Uh, let me see what I can do in this now. Grass color. Oh. Stadium seat color. Oh, shoot. I like a blue. Zero eighteen two fifty four. Good luck trying to get back to that one. Rig. Yeah, I know. So I'm trying. Like, if I could make it look like a, like a street or like a park court, that's what I'm kind of trying to go for. I don't know if you can add street lights and all that. Like, I, I I don't know how far you can go with all this. I'm just gonna make like I just want like a blue. It's kind of hard to get the same color. Whatever. I'm gonna go for like a pink. I don't care. Tractable roof, stadium roof, stadium rail. Okay. I don't know if you can add. You can add logos. Let's see what we have. Doesn't look like you can add anything like that. Umpire chair, none. Player bench, wooden. Barriers, none. Or how about just few? Broadcast camera, none. The grass. Now let me see what else I can like edit here. Turn to wait. Lighting. Oh, hang on. You can add street lights, but not on the court, huh? Well, actually, kind of. I'm gonna get rid of some of these stands. Hang on. Wait a minute. Maybe we can, Timothy. Maybe we can. Uh, edit object. I'm gonna get rid of these. these stands here on the side so I can put like I'm gonna well like maybe add more stands in later I just kinda wanna like roof can I put bushes around all of this? oh I can Okay, it's gonna be really cozy in here. And then we could put the street lights in. 
I've never seen a tennis game with something like this. This is incredible. This reminds me of the stadium editor, editor from Pez 2013 for soccer. All right now, maybe we could put street lights in. So lighting. Oh yeah, you could put them like right here. They can only be facing like a certain way, but put like some time of day. Yeah, yeah, you could play in daytime afternoon dusk or nighttime in the game they already have that as like an option for any place that you play so it's great so we can get a look at this at nighttime when we're done pretty much any time of day you want I'm trying to make it as symmetrical as possible here but it's not easy Right on the end, maybe. Yeah, it's not going to be even, but uh, you know, it's kind of a test run here, anyways, to see. You're here for this, yeah. <laughs> this is this is going to be the coolest part of the game, I think. Is there's not there's like a ton of licensed tennis players too, but you can also create, you know, tennis players as well. There's a lot of licensing. For tournaments and stuff put another street light behind this okay something like that okay um I don't know how this is gonna look in action uh, what else we got here so let's go ahead to toolkit so we can also put you can put buildings in, so if you want to make it seem like it's in like a different, like a smaller like area. Oh, you can do an old scoreboard. I gotta put that back there. That's cool. You can also change the color of some of this stuff. Um, what other buildings we have? We have like, what is this? Power lines. <laughs> so you could build like really street looking ones. Um, you could build like a whole freaking neighborhood. Honestly, guys, because look at you have all this space to work with. You could build like a little neighborhood surrounding the court if you wanted to get real crazy with it. And then have this court like sitting in the middle of it. That is awesome. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's looking good here. Wow, I mean this is this is impressive. What else they got for buildings? They have like well, thing you build like a school. You can oh, here's like a really big building too. You could put like some big city stuff if you want. We're gonna look at what else they have. I mean, I'm gonna look at all this stuff large brick here's another little house neighborhood park vibe at night yep that's what I would that's what I want to we could build something like that so you see your total budget it shows we've you only use like 14 percent of it so if we build like that there So we can always fix this later too to make it look even like better, but what else can we put in here? Roads. No way. <laughs> with stop signs and everything. What? A tennis game where you can put stop signs. And roads. 
This is cra it's unnecessary indeed. I mean, this is insane, though. They really wanted you to build, like, your dream stadium in any way. Uh, let me see here. What the frig? Hang on. Parking lot. Put like a parking lot on this side. Does it snap? I'm trying to get it to snap more. Uh, hang on. I wish you could do like a dirt path or something. Concrete. So you have like a little entrance into the park. Can I do the... Uh, What kind of fence? Oh my gosh, we can have like an archway. Dude, this is this is insane. This is literally like who would expect this from like a regular old tennis game? That you can like build like a freaking town. <laughs> Forget the 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 uh, learning curve with the controls. This is what you want to do in the game to have a good time. This is awesome. All right, let's see if we can. I could spend, I really could spend hours in this, and I might. Like, I, I don't even like the look of this right now. I feel like it could be, like, even better. Like, I feel like the streetlights. I need, like, a fence around, I think, this stadium. Can I just build fence? Oh, you can build your own, or you can just do... You can add vegetation. See, I don't think I can add this in because there's stuff around it. Like, yeah, I might want to, like, start with this. Maybe we just scrap everything and start from scratch again. I say if you like build the fence right there. Although I kind of want a. You know what? Maybe I'll just build one because there's not like a, a break in that fence. You can use hedges, you can use picket fences, brick fence. Let's see what kind of vegetation you can get in here too. You have tr all sorts of trees, garden beds. Like all this stuff here you can put down tables team benches an umbrella trash cans an electronic toilet <laughs> what the heck dumpsters you can put down vehicles and stuff if you want like a van parked creepy van chilling there so <laughs> this is crazy what's this court fence oh that one's got the black around it okay so I think oh yeah the game is awesome but I haven't played any tennis yet though I've been working on the residential area tonight I know the people will They'd be like, like what? What do you mean you haven't played any tennis? Yeah, I'm building a... Uh, I gotta make sure that all my roads have stop signs before I play tennis. <laughs> gotta make sure I have enough parking. <laughs> right, so we're gonna decide... I think I need to just like start over from scratch. So I can get this. Like I'm gonna just like...
I like, I like this little like I like the hedge coming in. I kind of like want to be able to kind of like see the town though. So you can like drag. I don't know. I want it to like make sense too. Let's see. We're gonna get rid of these stands altogether. We don't want it seeming like it's like an actual professional tennis court now, do we? Maybe I can build fence around. What can we do with that? Nothing else. All right, maybe I can build a fence around the court here. That's not straight. <laughs> Make sure that like snaps in. How do I get this to snap on there? That looks straight. Hang on. Is there a way to get the controls to snap? Snapping. Oh, it is on snapping. Snap to grid? Yes. I'm going to try that. Let's see if it'll. Uniform settings, environments, okay. Outer area, you can make the outer area grass fault. I mean grass fault, asphalt or grass. Rural, outlook, wait, what does this mean? Hang on, what is that? Oh, the background. Hang on. This is blowing my mind how much you can do with this. Scenery. Mountains. How about just hills? What the? Yeah, I want like a royal one. I'll be grass. Outlook A. I don't even know what that means. Scenery A, hills, scenery B. None. Right, it's looking more like a smaller neighborhood now. This is wow. Is this the game with Anthony Gispacho Rumi? Yes. Yes, to, uh, of course it is. Duh. <laughs> All right, we're going to do nothing there. Okay, what else can we do? I think I want to continue working on my fence then. This is going to be kind of hard to, to pull off though because the way it... The way it snaps on, it's like not straight sometimes. See? Guessing to get it to lock on to that. That's like off center. Why is that? Right, I'm gonna like delete these. Let's see if I can just get it on like a grid. All right. So we do like a picket fence. Hmm. No, you gotta do like a regular fence, I think. 
so we can snap this onto a grid here. Okay. There we go. Then we'll put like one this way. I want to like leave an opening so we can come in. See what I'm doing here? 180ing it. Yeah, I was thinking of like turning it a bit, but it looks like. I think it's because I selected like a grid pattern now that the other one was on a different grid, so now they're all on the same grid. I think it'll work better now. Should be good, anyways. See how it's like. See, it needs to be on like a certain. So I think what I need to do is like. Snap it to this side of the fence. Okay, like that. That looks pretty straight there, yep. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now we need to turn it this way. Seems like the fence is like pushed in on this side more. That's all right. See, it's like in, it's like tucked in on the green on this side. Okay, so I have to like, like put it like right, like here. Leave that opening. See, now it's like not locking in. Oh, now it is. Okay, there we go. A little bit tough. Not as tough as the controls in the actual game, but. Oh, shoot. I don't think we have enough. Three, can we fit three right here? I hope. There. Okay, I got the street lights. I think I'm gonna remove, well, we'll leave that. A couple little seats here. We want a neighborhood going on here. Let's see. What is this? Oh, a playground, too. Look at this. Wait, wait. That's not a playground. I thought that was for a second. I don't know what that is. It was like inside the building. Some nice looking houses. Where's the front door right here? That looks like the back door, actually. Some other types of buildings. Let's do a different kind of house now, too. Like this one. I guess that would be the front door here. A 
makes no sense that there'd be a lot of just houses surrounding a tennis court. Like it's their prey, but <laughs> here we are. I'll keep this as straight to this, okay. Just a little bit curved there. Looks like we're building a freaking paperboy level. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Don't be doing nothing. All right, let's uh, let's delete that. Okay, um, we're surrounded by buildings. We have a hedge fence there. We should put like a little a little road around here. Isn't this crazy that we can do this? And then we'll do, okay. A corner. Oh, we can't do that yet, so we gotta put another straight road. It's like Sim City or something. <laughs> People be like, are you playing a tennis game? Like, yeah, I'm playing a tennis game. Clearly, right? I have to move this house back just a little bit, I think. And also straighten it out. There we go. So I'm, this is gonna have to like change to. Okay, and then we're gonna do Making a racetrack. <laughs> I'll put like a regular straight road again. This is incredible. I didn't think I was going to be spending this much time with the create. I had no idea it was going to be this in depth. This is so impressive for a tennis game. Eventually, we'll get back to the tennis. Actually, here I'm going to put in T section here. So you got to place power lines before you can place the houses. <laughs> you got to build the road. So yeah, I almost have to build the road first. Houses will get in the way otherwise. I'll put like another straight road right here. I think the roads, yeah, we have to, we, these have to go down first before we can like put all the houses down and do this. Oh, this is relaxing though. Oh shoot, this road doesn't... Can I overlap a straight road? Not really, huh? Shoot, that's just... Why is that off just by a little bit? Oh, that looks weird. Is 
set off. Maybe I can make that a dead end right there. Maybe I'll like have this road peel off. We'll have this. Have this maybe be become like the parking lot right here. If I like delete. So we're gonna like delete these houses for now. Put a lot of stuff down too, because all that stuff it wasn't even at like 20% yet. It's crazy to think about that. So you can build a lot. It's like your playground to work with here. Okay, so we have like a road going around. I think we need to add like another intersection like right here. This was like multiple ways into the court. Oops, wrong one. And this will go into the, well, we can make it a dead end. I should make it. Send you a link when I have some stuff uploaded in the panels within the next three days to have videos up that do the same. Couple items better than I expected to be and not even done yet. That's so good, man. <laughs> a Drake and Josh AVGN style intro, yes. Exciting. So you have that all already like recorded. You have to edit your intro now. Yeah, man. No, do your thing. Do your thing. Of course. Let me be. Let me be the background noise. Glad you're working on that. Well, I well, I sit here and build a town <laughs> in a tennis game. I think we we'll put the parking lot like right here. Where was the parking? There was like a parking thing, wasn't there? I thought there was. Roads. Here we go. This is parking. Well, that doesn't look easy to park there. <laughs> exactly. I'm editing tennis land here. Uh, no, whatever. Nobody's actually driving into this thing, so I just. Put the parking down right there. There we go. And then you could actually build, like, brick fence around the parking structure probably yeah look how crazy this is you don't even like see any of this during the game that's the funny thing I'm doing all this and you're not even gonna see this <laughs> like they might show like an overview of it for like a second kinda wish the hand cursor was like not as big because it's kind of hard to see where you're placing things at times from a distance. I guess you have to zoom in. The 
It's gonna have its own little parking lot and nothing crazy. Like overlap, sometimes it overlap things to like make them fit in there. It is good. It's all good. Yeah, the snapping makes it easier to like put things down. Just put like this, like right here. I should not believe that open like that. Okay, so we got ourselves a parking lot. Okay, now we're gonna do a couple of vehicles in the parking lot. Whatever, it can be green, I don't care. Not my car. How bad do you, maybe this person doesn't know how to park. Put down one of these Amazon Prime vans. There we go. A couple people in there. Okay, now what else? Oh, turn that on. These are like floodlights. That's kind of cool. Maybe we should have floodlights instead, put the street lights on the street where they belong. And we'll do like I like delete these. I wonder what happens if we don't put enough lighting for our night game, or night. I hope you can play these courts at nighttime. That would be, I mean, you can play like the professional ones at night. So I assume like your creative ones can be played at night too. Okay. Now we're gonna do lighting. What well, looks good? I don't like that one. Yeah, like one of these. A couple of these on every corner here. Pointing in. This is the right side, right? I hope. There we go. Something like that. can we do stop sign just people abide by the law right there stop sign right here Even though there's no like white line here, it's on this side of the road for some reason. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Is this like Australian roads or something? Where like you drive on the left side of the road? Maybe that's what it is. All right, now we're gonna do. Where were the power lines at?
Here we go. This is crazy here. Look at this. how this is going to look exactly. Well, that's kind of weird. The power lines are like not connecting. How do you get them on like a... So we gotta like connect them like this. See so that way there's like a couple power lines right there, and then we'll do some actual like street lights. This thing's rotated. You typed an abysmal name, it didn't go through. I saw one name on there. A couple street lights. Maybe some out here welcoming people in. Some in the parking lot too. It didn't take it. <laughs> Twitch denied you. It was too ridiculous. Couldn't handle it. Nine names long. <laughs> Put another light like right here. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm not gonna play this too much longer, I don't think, because I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off air. I might stream something else later tonight, but I wanted to check this game out. I did not expect to be diving into this as much as I have. This is awesome. So the gameplay is gonna take a lot of learning to to actually like get good at this game. So that's gonna be before I even think about starting a career mode, I have to like be very comfortable playing this game which probably won't happen for a while, but we can at least have fun creating parks and just playing some tennis games on here. All right, now, houses. House on the corner there. It's like too close to the road actually. Move it over a little bit. Okay, well, just to give us the illusion that there's a neighborhood here, and we'll put like another building. right here towards this entrance on like either side here so we can always come back and add more to this too or fix something so we just want the illusion that there's like a a neighborhood around here If 
I put another road in right there. They're lucky they live right across the street from the court. Good to be them. Our lines will put like another road in right here. Doesn't seem like this road like goes somewhere even though it really doesn't. And then we want little trash cans. This is a litter free zone. We can't put it down on the court, but we can put it like just outside. So we'll like trash can either end there. I'll put some on this side too. There we go. What else? What else? What else? Team bench. We could build kind of like a little park too. We could put like tables down, like these people have like a table out in their yard or something. They have one in the backyard over here and in the shade. <laughs> I need the toilet. I know Dalton needs this. So put one of these. That'll be a good spot. Maybe in the parking lot. Maybe right there. Okay. A little bench. It's like a dugout almost. Put a little picnic table in. in their house. Put some trees in maybe? Like two trees in right there. Maybe even like on both sides to kind of like Kind of looks nice, huh? I like it. I like it so far. We can we can move things around. Let's let's. What we need to do now is like maybe test it. There it is. I just want to make sure it's saved. You can also download venues. It looks like that other people have created. It's also logo creator, so you can create your own logos. Essentially, I could probably put a zero logo on there, honestly, like if I did. I did like uppercase, I did like. How do I move it though? So we'll just, yeah, that. All right, let's go to play now and see. What is that stuff? You can do doubles too. Now we'll be, we'll be Isner and then say we'll take on, let's take on somebody not that good because I should let's do a let's do the WTA. We'll be we'll be Coco Golf and we'll take on Storm Hunter. <laughs> you have chosen Storm Hunter. Level five. Like <laughs> Can I go to mine? There it is, the rock. Where is it? Time of day, nighttime. That's the picture. I don't like that picture of it. Hopefully it's like 
Let's see if it is like what we actually created here. It is! And we have like nice lights. I don't know why there's so much noise. You know what I should do is go to audio settings and go to crowd volume. Just turn them like off because if we want like There you go. Turn that off. Then it'll feel more like we're in like a park here. Oh, in-game music too. See ya. Now it'll sound like we're probably just in the park flying. This is our court, guys. The lighting looks good. There we go. Yeah. So now this is chill. Okay, there we go. And I'm trying to get a hang of this. Oh, a curve to it. There we there it is. See, I feel like you know, like I said, once you get the hang of these controls, it is gonna be a really good game. Like there seems to be so much depth here that I haven't seen from a tennis game ever, honestly. <laughs> this might be the, no, the new go-to for tennis fans who are like, want something really realistic with like a ton of depth, but again, I don't know how the mechanics all work properly, you know? Some of them might be a little janky. I can't do it all yet, I'm gonna learn as we go here, but Looks like we got a solid game in our hands. It's really rough to pick up and play, but the, the court creation is unbelievable. Kind of wish all these extra like cameramen and stuff like weren't here, like just to make it seem like you were just playing in the park. That's not bad. I feel like easy might be too easy now. But we still gotta get the hang of this stuff. So like when you can, I'm not readying all my shots, but when you can, you should be readying your forehand, backhand, depending on what you think you're gonna be hitting. Cause then look at look at that shot. Cause I readied it. I got enough power on it. That was a hell of a shot from Coco. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to get a, starting to get more of a feel. I still don't know those like power shot things in the training mode. I, I could not do that. Do a slide. I mean, we're wrecking her. But you see this game is an incredible roster. Oof. Very intricate controls. I think I think this company made cricket games. Began uh, I was like I knew I knew that name from somewhere. I think they made some kind of like cricket cricket games, like the sport cricket. <laughs> and that's why they probably have this intricacy because they probably did the same thing with their cricket games. I haven't played one of those, but it's like the I think it's Don Bradman cricket or something. I think they did those. Yeah, I wanted to try one of those because it actually looked fun. Because I kind of understand cricket now. So this is most likely a European uh, studio. Bring a lot of realism to this. Yeah, 
You have to like hold it and then tap it again to get the timing down. Shoot, I'm over hitting a lot of stuff at the net. I need to stop doing that. So I'm gonna do slice serve. Try that. There we go. Not a lot of good rally is going on yet in this game. Probably because it's on easy and because like <laughs> I suck. So there's not more than like two or three hits in a rally right now. That's a good return there. The way she slid on the grass, that was awesome. The physics of some of the hits feel really good. So your player movement is good too, but I like I'm still it's it takes a bit to get used to. I sometimes I feel like I'm overrunning underrunning things. There we go. We might sweep her in this. Oh. But definitely a game that seems like a lot of death. I want a lot of depth. I wonder how the um career mode is gonna be. I wonder. Oh, no way. Shoot. See, I overhit it again at the net. I don't know how to fix that. But yeah, after this match, we'll probably go offline. So I might play something else later tonight on stream. We might do more like Astrobot or something. As far as the career mode in this goes, I don't think I'm going to be starting one like before Zero Ween or anything because it'll just be like, I really won't have time to like finish the whole season right now. Plus like I'm just not comfortable going into that yet either. So we'll probably, I mean we'll, we'll play more of this before Zero Ween no doubt guys so we can get more of a look at this game. There it is. Try out some more players and, and stuff. Get a feel for the controls a bit more. And when I feel comfortable, maybe later this year, we'll start a career mode, we'll create a player. Much like we did in um, Tennis World Tour. I like the kick serves the most, I think. That's a great shot right there. Oh, that, that went out? I almost missed that one. That's definitely out. Shoot, now I'm missing everything. And remember to hold it in and then tap it again when it hits green. I'm getting a lot of like perfect serves there as far as like hitting it on the green. I just don't have the aiming down to like create much trouble on those. Let's see if I can try to get. See, that's red. That's not good. At least we know how to serve now. See, that's a good serve. Force her outside so we can pull it back that way. What am I doing wrong with those? Maybe I need to do a different type of shot. I'm closer to the net. Do the safe serve there so we don't double fault. She ain't getting to that. Look at that. A little slice. No chance. Oh my gosh, gave her that game. Right. Like I said, this, like, I was going into this expecting more of like a tennis world tour type of thing, I guess, in terms of like gameplay style and realism. Because that game was a little more realistic than Virtua Tennis, but 
Yeah, this is unlike any tennis game I've ever played. That's why the controls are so difficult for me. I have not played a game that required this kind of control scheme for a tennis game. It's tough. You can see there's a little... Nice, there we go. But yeah, there's definitely a realism to this one. Way more than any game I've played before with tennis. Oh, she missed it. Good. Come on. That's a good shot. And she missed it again. Yeah, a couple more points and we can win this thing. See, I'm winning on easy. Like, I'm still going to need more practice on easy. But, you know, because I'm like missing like simple returns like that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be letting them score off that. I'm going to get my forehand ready here. If I stand over here. Oof, ball. Come on, Coco. Oh, there's one right down the middle. She's like coming back here. Oof. Oh my gosh, I was lucky there. Advantage, golf. Wait, was that a, okay, that was a fault. I was like, did they allow that? Nice return. Oh, good. Really good shot there. She had no chance to play that one. All right, one more game. Oh, good. Really good, so that was more of a tap than holding it in. Underhand serve, what, can, can you do that? Is that legal? <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe t they don't do it because it's not strong and doesn't really do much. to test your opponent. Okay, let's put her away. It's match point here. Oh my gosh, no. Serving. Timing's off. We got that one. <laughs> Oh, I overhit that one with Coco, so. <laughs> Are you still playing Zelda? What? Are you going to play now? He's playing Zelda. Come on. Gosh, we let her come back in this match. See, I'm having trouble like keeping my shots in bounds. It's like it's not even her that's beating me; it's myself here. That's the biggest thing. A lot of their points are just coming from me, like hitting it out of bounds or completely missing something. Double faults. There we go. Advantage now. So it makes it hard, like playing on normal or something. That's probably going to be like I'm probably going to be punished. For missing a lot of these shots. Double faults. Gosh. Suck less. I try. Can't make any promises. 
Come on. Can't even freaking nail my serves now. And then again, I'm at the net and I overhit it somehow. I don't understand. I think I have to do the circle serve because... Gosh, fudge. Why do I keep overhitting everything? Like, what do I, what do you have to do? Like, I'm, I'm way up in this match, but I'm giving her a chance to come back because I'm mishitting so many things. It's frustrating. It's like, it's so hard to get the hang of this game. Okay, 15 all. Let's just put her away now, come on. It's like I underhit it, I overhit it. What the heck am I doing wrong? So I really wish there was a more simplified version of the controls. So you could like, I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there's an option. If there is, I'm definitely going to take it. There we go. All right. Match point again. Now can we finally put her away? What's she going to do here? That's it. Game over. Nice. It's like we're winning on easy, but it's not easy for me because <laughs> I suck with this game. But I challenge any of you to pick up this game and like perform well right away. It is not, it's hard. Challenge any of you to not even go through the tutorial and try to like actually play the game. Uh, let's see. I just want to see something. Ah, uh, 50, uh, 50 bucks, I think. Yeah, 50. So it's $20 less than Top Spin. Top Spin 70, right? When that came out. This is only 50. Pretty sure it was 50 bucks. Maybe it's 60. I don't know. I don't know. 50. Apparently, 55. So yeah, it's like 50, 55 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's a way that I can switch the controls. Gameplay camera targets. That's just HUD stuff. No, there's no. I was just wondering if there's a way to like do a different control scheme. I guess not. So you have to get good with these ones. Got to get good with the normal controls, I guess. Well, I mean, kind of an up and down first impression. The the creator court is insane. Like that's coolest part of the game the the rosters amazing I'd say the controls are fine they're just hard to get used to they're hard to, to, to get good with so I says I'm gonna need way more practice with this but I there's, there's definitely gonna be a good game once I get the hang of the controls I'm starting to get the hang of some things of it but I'm not consistent yet I do want to try career mode maybe sometime um, but yeah, if you can, go through the tutorial, guys. I can't even get by this overpower one. That's so hard to do. I wish I could practice other things, but we can't. Um, 
Yeah, there's a lot of cool things. Like I said logo creator, venue creator, player creator. And then you can go to the community and download things too that people have created. So, not bad. A lot of depth to a tennis game. You have online mode as well. You also have tournaments you can do if you just want to do a tournament and not worry about the career. Like if you probably just want to jump into like a Wimbledon or something, you might be able to just do that. So it's pretty cool. A lot of licensing in the game too, which I like to see. So the career mode should be awesome with all the licensing. So we'll have to do that someday. But yeah, we'll, we'll play it again soon. We're going to play it again, you know, before Zeroine and get some more practice with it. Um, I do like the game. It's just not an easy pick up and play. Not as user friendly as a lot of other tennis games you might play. So, But there's definitely a lot of realism to this. So we'll see when we take more time with it later. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I'm uh, gonna gonna head off now. Said I'm probably gonna try to stream again later tonight. If not, I should be on tomorrow. Today is um, Saturday, so one more day of the weekend. I wanted to check this one out today. Definitely a cool game. Just need to get better at it, basically. Um, yeah, maybe I'll see you guys later tonight. Thanks for watching on YouTube as well. Be safe, y'all. Enjoy your game and enjoy whatever you're doing. Thank you, Timothy, for keeping me company while I stream, man. <laughs> and Dalton coming in. No problem, man. Good luck with the editing. Good luck with the editing. Glad I could be here. Take care, my friend. And until next time, zero is the number. Peace out.